Hey guys, welcome back to I am Gizmo Geek. Last year there was an article on IGN News that Reliance Jio is trying to get cloud gaming to India where you can easily play games on your phone, setup box or PC without even installing them. One year later this cloud gaming has come to reality and it's called as Games Now. If you're confused about what exactly is cloud gaming, to simply put, it's like having a Netflix app for games. You don't have to download and install the games on your device nor you need the graphic support for playing the graphic intensive games. Everything is taken care by Jio server and you can continue playing the games on your own device through Games Now app. Right now this is in beta testing so it's free to sign up but later there will be subscription charges for it. You can install the games app now on your phone or web browser or on the Jio setup box. In this video I'll be showing my experience with Games Now on Jio setup box so let's get started. This is my Geo setup box on the latest Geo OS 2.0 and 7.3.5 build. To access the cloud gaming, first you need to head over to the Geo store and search for Games Now app. Do not leave any space between Games and Now. This is the app icon. Install the app first and then open it. This is how the app's interface looks like. Right now it has very limited games collection and in future they have said that there will be more games that will be added. Some major games on the top row followed by games divided into categories. As mentioned here on the game page, you need a controller to play as you cannot just play these with remote. Now you don't need to buy Geo Gaming controller or any specific controller. You can go with any USB dongle one or a Bluetooth one. I have this controller from Cosmic Byte which comes with USB dongle. Link to this controller will be in the description. This dongle can be connected to the setup box in the back and you are ready to play. When you click on play for the first time, it will ask you to sign up by entering your personal details like email ID and phone number etc. You will be getting confirmation pretty quick. But I am not sure till when this beta testing will be continuing so I suggest to try it as soon as possible before they start charging for it. Now before I start playing any game, let me show you my internet speed as games now says that one needs at least 20 Mbps for smooth experience. I am using the native net speed app and I am getting around 68 Mbps download speed on my 100 Mbps connection, which should be sufficient for this gaming. Let's go first with Saints Row 4. The game takes 20 to 25 seconds generally to open for the first time and once open there's not much loading time. As you can see here, there's a minute input lag in navigation. And when I started playing the game, that same level of input lag continued in controlling the character too. Locking aim during shooting was slightly difficult at start as I wasn't getting fine control. There were a couple of freezes and frame drops here and there in the game too. But apart from that, it was a decent experience. Once you exit the game, you are also asked to enter the feedback. Then I played Grip, which is the racing game with really nice graphics and I could play smoothly with 60 FPS in most of the gameplay, except for one or two freezes. If you're gonna try games now, this is the game you should start with. Absolutely crazy. Later I tried Steel Rats, which has an arcade style of gaming and I faced no lag in the whole gameplay. I found the game to be interesting too. Also when you play other top down action or RPG games like God's Trigger or Victor Vran, you won't be finding much of an input lag and can enjoy gaming seamlessly. Obviously right now as it's still in testing phase, you can experience some hiccups here and there but that should not stop you from enjoying these games for free. 
So to summarize, the GamesNow app surely turns your setup box into a mini gaming console with decent gaming library. As India doesn't have much cloud gaming options like GeForce Now or Stadia, this does give a small hope that we can expect a future with good cloud gaming. Once the subscription starts and stable version is released, I would share the experience again and let you know if you should spend the money or not. For now, I would suggest signing up for the testing ASAP and then buy a controller. Hope this video was helpful and do share your own experience. Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more such videos.